No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this 3D effect thumbnail using the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4. So if you want to learn how to make gaming videos on the PS4 and upload them to YouTube then this is the channel for you, so do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the up and coming videos. Okay, so the way we're going to get our 3D thumbnail is by going into our game and then going into replays and I'm using Fortnite for this so um, what I'm going in first going into settings going to the game and just where it says replays just making sure they're all turned on if you're going to use like Team Rumble probably the best thing um, or uh, you could use creative mode so just make sure they're turned on then you just go into the game and then uh, I just went into a place where I thought I wanted to try having a thumbnail and I've found the yacht in Fortnite and I've just doing lots of different emotes just to have a selection of different choices so I can play about with them. Um, once I've finished the game go into re uh, career and then go into replays and find the latest game that you've just played and click on that and go into um, the replay and then what you want to do is just forward it on using uh, the buttons on the screen there to go ahead to find the place where you're doing the uh, emotes. Okay, so we're just pressing pause here, okay, using triangle, and then we can go into, uh, so you start clicking on the right stick to change it to drone free, like we've done there. Now normally, frustratingly, it uh, sends you further away from where your character is, so you need to find your character and come back to the uh, place that you want to take the thumbnail. Then what we're doing is just moving the, using the D-pad, pushing up and down to change the speed of the game place when we play it back. So um, you can move it up and down to however you want it, but the slower generally the better to find the right moment to take your thumbnail um, screenshots. So um, I've played about with it and I've come up with this point because I quite like the way that he's pointing over to the side and then we'll have some text down the side and then that will look quite good. Um, where he's pointing at uh, the title of our um, video I think so what we want to do then is go into the little camera the little um, yellow camera on the screen and we want to turn high quality effects on okay and then we want to change the focal length to 35 to be honest it doesn't really matter too much but I always have it at 35 for the focal length and then we can play about with the aperture to blur um, parts of the the screen as well so we're going to come out a little bit and get to the roughly we roughly want the top half of the body I think that looks good like that and then we'll go into the camera again and we will play about with this aperture so this will make certain bits blurry um, now at the moment we're blurring the character and that's fine for other um, screenshots that you might want to do but on this one we want the background to be blurry so um, it's focusing on the background we just need to um, move the camera a little bit and it'll start to there we go start to um, focus on the character okay once we're happy with that we push the left stick to get rid of all the HUD and so that we've got nothing on there other than the uh, the screenshot we want to actually take and just tweak it a little bit once we're happy with that then we can take our screenshot so we push the share button once on the controller and then we can come down and click on a uh, triangle to save the screenshot and it comes up with catch a gallery screen uh, shot saved at the top and then once we've done that we can come out so we just need to leave the match okay once we leave the match we then want to go into share factory okay so we go into photos new project Click on whichever one of these you like to use. I like to use Share Factory, and then we go down to our screenshot that we took and push Square to um, start. Always rename your projects so you know which ones you've been working on, especially when you've got lots on the go. And then we want to change the um, background uh, and the sorry the border settings. So we just want to bring that so there's no border, and press Cross to confirm because we don't want a border on our screenshot and then we just go into add overlays because we want to add some text to our screenshot and I'm, the thing with screen, um, text is try not to put too much try and if you're using it obviously for um, YouTube I've made the mistake in the past of putting far too much text on there and if you think how big the um, text or the thumbnails are especially if people are looking at on mobiles you do not need lots of text because people won't be able to see it so 
the, le the um, less the better quite often. So we've just gone into add text and then we've typed 3D and then we can obviously use the transform button to move it to where we want to. We're going to put the thumbnail and then we can um, move that to where we want it as well. But obviously for your project, you're putting whatever you want to. Um, so it's the, you know, trying to explain what your video is all about. Okay. Once we've done that and we're happy with it, then we just need to push um, options on the controller and then that will give us the option of uh, say exporting to gallery so we click on export to gallery and then that will keep it in the gallery for us to use at a later point okay and I've just put share later there because we don't want to share it save project and exit okay and then project saved great stuff so then we can go into our videos and create a new project and then with the um, options, we just, uh, okay, so yeah, new project we're going to. So when we go into new projects, then we just choose a theme uh, with the intros and it comes up however. Obviously, we're going to always use our own intros, but we're not going to use the preset ones. Find the gameplay that you want to use. I'm just going to select anything here. And then once you've got your gameplay, then um, you could, uh, we're not going to bother renaming it for just this example either at the beginning or at the end of your project just push cross and then add screenshots and then you just go down to your screenshot and uh, press cross and then square to add the screenshot and there it is in your project okay so um, you'll need to uh, generate a thumbnail so when you're on the thumbnail itself then just push the um, options button and then generate thumbnail click on generate thumbnail and then it will confirm that that is done project thumbnail saved okay once you've done that then you don't need it anymore unless you want it in your project but normally I just delete it so you just go in delete clip confirm and even though you've deleted it it's still on your project and you're ready to upload to YouTube Obviously do the usual checks to make sure that the volume is correct and the quality of your video is as you want it and then go for it. Okay, so if you have liked this um, video then please do hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. And do check out all my other videos on ShareFactory to help you out. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.